What up, Vapes to Nation? This is Phantom, and we're going to be looking at some really cool things today. It's going to be a vapey time. Stick around, and behold, out of the vape. The Inakin Axiom sub -ohm Tank. So Inakin is really stepping up their game, guys, and they've come out with this tank, and a lot of people have reviewed this tank, but I love this tank so much that I thought I would review it too. Today we're going to be looking at the Inakin Axiom. Uh, this is a, a sub-ohm micro tank, uh, and it's one of the most stylish, beautiful, pretty tanks that I've seen in a very long time. So let's open her up and let's see what's in the box. As you can see, uh, we have the usual things in here. Of course, we have the tank itself, uh, and this is the bad boy. As you can see, it is very small, uh, but let me tell you something. He is a grower, not a shower. Very, very sleek, cool design. Uh, you can see you have uh, Inakin written directly on the coil, and on the other side, you have Axiom written there. Very, very nice. Very sleek design, very thin glass piece in there. Gives it a very nice profile, uh, and I think it looks really great on almost any mod. Also in the box, it comes with a glass protecting ring uh, with Inakin written on it. And, of course, you have a replacement glass piece. And once again, very thin, uh, elegant design on the glass replacement and the glass that's on there. You also have a very, very nifty... Uh, rebuildable deck here uh, and that's what a lot of people are buying this tank for uh, to be able to uh, use this rebuildable deck uh, on such a unique tank the cool thing about this uh, rebuildable deck is something that you don't see often as a matter of fact I really have never seen it on a lot of the later the more recent rebuildable decks and as you can see there is a uh, there's a blue plug uh, in this rebuildable deck uh, and that, what that's going to allow you to do is if you want to build just a single coil, you can build a single coil or you can pop the plug out of the deck and you can build a double coil if that's what piques your fancy. And of course also in the, in the box you're going to get your customary uh, replacement O-rings and various uh, screws for your rebuildable deck. Uh, and they also have a very nice... Uh, Quick start guide, instruction manual in here. Now, the specs of this tank. What we're dealing with with this beautiful bad boy right here is a 22 millimeter mouthpiece, a very shallow wide bore uh, airy mouthpiece that is extremely close to the atomizer, which may concern some people, but I assure you there is no issue with this. I love this mouthpiece actually. Uh, I love the way it feels. It's very nice. Uh, this tank has a 3.5 milliliter capacity uh, and a 0 0.5 resistance uh, coil that comes with this tank other than the rebuildable deck. Uh, the coil that comes with this tank standard is a very nice coil. I love it. It vapes perfectly beautifully. This coil is recommended to be vaped between 20 and 40 watts. Now a lot of you might be asking, why, you know, why would you buy a, a 0 0.5 resistance coil I mean, isn't that a little bit too high of a resistance? And the answer I give you is no, it's not. Um, I, I mean, I'm not a millionaire, and I don't have money to be going through hundreds of dollars worth of e-liquid every week. So uh, I like to conserve my e-liquid. Yeah, every now and then, a nice uh, big cloudy vape from a TFV8 or a Baby Beast would be nice. And I still partake. But... This thing eats up your e-liquid like there's no tomorrow, and anyone who uses this knows that. What I was looking for was the best possible tank uh, to give me the best of all worlds, okay? Uh, enough vapor production, enough of a throat hit, very good flavor, and something that can be vaped uh, around 40 watts, 35 to 40 watts, uh, that won't consume a whole lot of e-liquid, and this is the answer right here. This is the all-day vape. This is my number one recommendation for all-day vape tank. 
Okay, I'm going to be uh, putting the Anakin Axiom today onto my Smoke X-Cube 2 Ultra. This is the X-Cube Ultra by Smoke, or Smock, or whatever you want to, however you want to say it. It's a 220-watt mod with temperature control, uh, and it's a very, very nice mod. It's one of my favorites. And you can see it is very, very attractive. Uh, this tank looks great on any mod, uh, but in particular, if you can match the colors... I think it looks a lot better on here than a TFV8 or other, um, several other kinds of tanks, to be honest with you. Is this a new coil? And I'm going to say, why, well, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, and we had it set to 108 watts for the TFV8, so we're going to bring this way, way down to 35 watts. We'll start at 35 watts, and then we'll move up to 40 watts. Now, here's how we fill this tank. So you take the, the mouthpiece, you unscrew it. It's very easy. Set that down, and you see you have your uh, juice slots in there, and this, that's how you're going to fill your tank up. This is a very nice filling system. Uh, it's very leak-proof. I've never had any leaks from this tank, uh, and it's worked out very well. So today we're going to be uh, vaping on pink. From Ends Game, I'll be doing a review on this very soon. It's sort of like a strawberry milk, or if you've ever gotten those strawberry uh, drinks from Starbucks, that's what it's supposed to be like. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that bad boy up to the full 3.5 milliliter capacity. And then we're going to quite simply go ahead and just screw this mouthpiece back onto the top of the tank. I have been vaping on this, so the coil is already primed, so don't be alarmed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a rip and chuck some clouds at 35 watts on the X-Cube Ultra with the Inikin Axiom Sub-Ohm Tank. Yep. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. All right, let's take one more hit. 35 watts. So as you can see, guys, at 35 watts, at 0 0.5 ohms, you're going to get some really nice, thick, dense, cool clouds off this Inican Axiom. Mm-hmm. I got to say, the flavor is nice, clean, and crisp. You can taste every nuance of this pink by Ends Game. Every juice I put in this tank has just given me amazing flavor. You can taste all the nuances. It's very amazing, actually. Something about this coil, and I noticed when I looked down inside, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but the two actual coils in this uh, atomizer are very close together. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's very heavily cotton wicked, and the coils are really close together. I think it must have something to do with why the flavor on this is so intense. It's just delicious. It's wonderful. Let's go ahead and let's turn her up. Let's go to, oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> let's go to 40 watts. All right, let's see what this thing does at 40 watts. This is the maximum for this tank. Still really clean and clear. Not even a little bit of lukewarmness at all. The vapor is still very cool. It sinks down the way that cold vapor does. Mmm. Wow, the Inikin Axiom Sub-Ohm Tank, delicious, ridiculous. This is your all-day vape. I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. You're going to save a lot of e-liquid. You're going to be satisfied with this. I mean, just look at this one more time. I mean, compare this to a baby beast. As a matter of fact, we're going to right now. So here's, okay, so I'm going to do, do a little jump cut, all right? This is a vape on the Inikin Axiom at 40 watts, and then we're going to jump over to the baby beast uh, at 60 watts.
All right, guys, you be the judge. I mean, really, seriously, in my opinion, the Anakin Axiom is almost better than the Baby Beast. It, it, it has better flavor. The vapor is a little bit more condensed and delicious. Uh, and airflow isn't all that much different. Uh, so, you know, and you're vaping at 40 watts as opposed to 60 watts. You're saving a lot of juice. The resistance is much higher. Uh, but, you know, so we have to get away from the stigma of higher resistance, lamer vape. Because it's not always the case. Inikin has done something amazing here. And they have actually created what I believe to be a magical combination. You know, when you get with your uh, significant other, they look down and they, they kind of start to snicker at you. Well, all you got to do is to get rid of their laugh really quick is to vape. Because he's a grower, not a shower. All right, guys, be sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for all future updates and videos. We got a whole lot of reviews coming up and a lot of great content coming your way. See you next time on the next video.